ready to begin. Is your lawyer going to be gracing us with his presence? I'll be representing myself. How nice. Hello, everyone. Connor, there's no reason for you to be here. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just observing. Connor. If Mr. O'Brien wants to observe, let him observe. Mr. O'Brien, we want you to understand that Paul Dilfer respects you, and he wants to come to an agreement that can end quickly. There's no point going down a, a hard and difficult road here. And what does this agreement look like? Because right now, it looks to me like I'm being set up to be the fall guy for Paul Dilfer. It's not personal, Mick. It's just business. Oh, it's very personal. You're trying to destroy me and my reputation. Mr. O'Brien, just hear us out. No, you hear me out. I have proof that several of the contracts Mr. Dilfer claims I signed are, in fact, forgeries. Consequently, I'm going to make you an offer. Wonderful. Um, let's get to it. It's a one-time only offer, and it expires in five minutes. We're all ears. I will walk away from all of this. Mr. Dilfer will sign a document right now stating that he lied about my involvement. And if he apologizes profusely and publicly for implicating me in his illegal transactions. We thought you were coming to your senses. This is uh, Leonard Shakley and Associates, Builders in California. This is Gross and Madden, Builders in Wisconsin. Smith and Sons, Oregon. It seems they, too, found discrepancies in Mr. Dilfer's contracts. That's very interesting, but I have some documents here, too. A personal communication between your children, Mr. Connor O'Brien and Mrs. Abby O'Brien Winters. In it, they claim that they believe their father is not innocent. You have no right to go through my personal correspondence and steal documents. I knew you would speak up eventually. Anything written on company time is a work product. This was found in the garbage here. Linda, that was locked in my desk. We'll have to agree to disagree on that one. Abby, I'm so worried about Dad. Who knows what he knew or when he knew it? I feel like he should just take responsibility for anything he was a part of. After all, he was the one who raised us to tell the truth. Wait. What's on the second page of that letter? The second page? That's right. Because as I said, that was locked in my desk. And it was the first draft on the firm's stationery that I notarized and mailed to myself here at the firm. I feel it is his duty to tell the truth about who ate Grand's coffee cake. We all deserve to enjoy it. And he selfishly ate more than his share, leaving just crumbs. Connor. I'm sorry, Connor. I just, I just can't resist mom's coffee cake. I find it shocking that people who are supposed to be my colleagues would go through my personal correspondence. I have no choice but to offer my resignation immediately, which I happen to have on me. I quit. These documents prove that Dilfer forged Mr. O'Brien's signature on 24 separate contracts, and this letter proves that this law firm spied on a junior associate in an attempt to get intel on his family. You should be ashamed of yourselves. I'll be reporting this to the Bar Association. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's my son, the lawyer. Well, we did it. Yes, we did. I'm very proud of you, Connor. That was a brave thing you did, quitting your job like that. I don't know, I couldn't get working here. What are you gonna do now? I hadn't really thought about it. Except I'm done working for big law firms. I want to practice law. That's why I became a lawyer. And why don't you? <laughs> what am I going to do? Hang up my shingle in Chesapeake Shores? Connor O'Brien, attorney at law? Sure, why not? 